So we are going to quickly go over some post-op instructions for having an implant done. If you're watching this video, that means you had an implant done where we didn't extract a tooth and we didn't raise a flap or have to move your tissue way out of the way. So the good news is because of that, your implant healing should be pretty simple um, because we didn't have to do that big of a surgery. And so let's just go over some quick post-op instructions of what to do. The biggest thing to do is avoid smoking. By far, the most common complication we have with placing implants is patients that smoke within five days of placing the implant. So please do not smoke if you just had an implant placed. Also, be aware that implants can vary a lot. And so our success rate the first time we place an implant is over 95%. But we are putting a foreign body into your body. And our whole goal is for your body not to know it's a foreign body, but to think it's your real body. Because if your body recognizes it as foreign, it will attack the implant. You might get a little bit swelling, it's never gonna heal well. And so we're trying to trick the body and just realize that. So even if we place it perfectly, if your immune system sets off bells, there's a chance it might not heal perfectly. Again, that's really, really rare. Most implants heal perfectly. If for any reason your implant doesn't work, you'll just know it'll be usually a little bit sore, something's a little bit iffy. You'll come back in a few weeks, we'll take a look at it. And all we'll do is, is usually just take it out and replace it, pretty simple. But for the most part, there isn't much you have to do. Again, because you didn't have much of a surgery, as long as you avoid smoking, try not to eat in that area for like two, three days. It's not that long, you have to avoid the area. And just to make sure to take the medicine we gave you. Eventually your gums should heal over the implant, which it will also help protect it. Because once your gums heal completely over the implant, you can basically do whatever and it's under your gums completely protected. So that's basically it. That's all you have to do to worry about taking care of the implant. And for pain, some people go and the next few days they have almost no pain. Well, and some people go and they have a little bit more pain. But the most common is to have a slight little bit of pain, take some ibuprofen, Tylenol, nothing too strong you should need if you just have a single implant done. Of course, if you had multiple implants done, well then that little pain adds up between multiple teeth and you might need something a little bit stronger. So that's basically it. That's it for post-op for implants.